Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another Viking Rise video. In this video, we are going to be doing some Law of the Jungle. But before that, a special shout out to all of you for getting this channel to 1,000 subscribers. That is a pretty cool milestone, if you ask me. Thank you all for supporting the channel. Now let's get into the jungle. We are going to do three matches, one with pikemen, one with ranged, one with inf. Let's go pikemen first. I am going to use a vet and Helger, I think. It's a good reliable setup that's pretty hard to kill. The skills being used for Helger are retaliate, for strong single target, an area of effect damage, and bald is blessing for survivability and counter attack increase. A quick overview of the equipment being used, it's not bad. A good starting point to go into the jungle with. For Yvette I will be using Awakening for the damage reduction. Alongside Hymn of Life for extra healing and its synergy with Awakening. The equipment is pretty similar, favoring a bit more defense instead of attack. Okay, let's do this. Round 1. And I grab me some heels straight out the gates and keep heading towards the center. See if we can pick us up some equipment upgrades early. That's infantry equipment. That's archer equipment. And none of these monsters really drop any worthwhile pikemen equipment that I need. More archer equipment. Man, I always find this. There is seemingly always tons of equipment for whatever troop types I am not using. I mean, maybe the gold helmet if it drops. Now, I do not think purple is worth trading for the blue helm. More heals. He'll take that. Where the heck is everybody else? Nobody has any points on the board yet, and I have not seen anyone. Weird. Yo, someone got clapped. There is someone here somewhere then. Alright, let's show these turtles who is boss. Hopefully get some decent runes. I think I will pick these runes up anyway because when you die, you tend to drop runes. And I like to pick up some non-useful runes if I come across them. So when I die, I hopefully drop those instead of the useful ones. Yeah, I know. I am pretty smart, right? But 10% pikeman attack and 5% troop attack is nice. Damn, more heals. Off the Niffling Defender. These are what you need to keep an eye out for if you are running pikemen. They can drop hella strong pikemen gear. Oh come on, more heals. Where the hell is everybody? The gluttonous boar is another good target for the tusk hammer. That is the best in slot buildable pikemen piece in my opinion. Alright let's go kill the middle boss. I cannot believe we are halfway through and we have not seen anyone running around. Archer gear, of course.
Okay, I'm going to go search the spawns, see what's going on. Well, this dude gave up instantly. May as well get at least one kill here today. Making my way downtown, walking fast, faces pass, and I'm homebound. Could you do that? Do you do do you that? Do that? And I need you. Could you do that? Do you do do you that? Do that? Uh, hello there. There's like three minutes left, and that is the first active dude I have seen. Let's heal up and then we can grab that relocator. Maybe down here, sometimes there's equipment spawn here. Not today the way. Nobody home here. No more beef. So there is presumably two active people somewhere. Okay, let's go get the second middle boss spawn. This boss provides good points and is usually a focal point in active matches. Good for sniping kills. Oh hey, you again. You were too late to the party, my friend. But at least he is active and putting up a fight. I wonder if it's his spawn down here that's always empty. Oh, it is. Come at me, bro. I think we can beat him once or twice more on the health we got. Although I feel bad, so maybe I will just hang around and see if he wants to keep trying his luck. I realize he is probably not an extremely strong player, but man, is this pikeman set up durable. You can check out the full hero and skill build in a previous video where I detail its effectiveness explicitly. Not quite my friend, but the next fight might be close. Is he gonna go for a third round? He'll hit him with that relocation side step. Oh, of course, my random relocation relocated me two inches to the right. Standard. Well, that's the pikeman run done. Pretty uneventful, but a win is a win. Okay, for the second match, we are going to swap to archers. We will be using the dynamic duo of Verdandi and Ardor to get our burn on. For Verdandi, we will be using Fiery Rage. An absolute must have skill for her. An enchanted pursuit. Both high frequency damage over time. Starting gear is not bad, all purple. For Ardor, we will use Blow of Chaos, which feeds off of Fiery Rage, an enchanted pursuit. And Blessed by Fate, which increases all passive skills probability. And damage, buffing the other three skills. I really love this ranged march setup. The damage output is incredible. But it is nowhere near as durable as the pikemen march. So we shall see how we get on. Back to the jungle we go. I'm really hoping we get a bit more activity this run so it is not just a Borfist again. Okay, let's do this. We will head to the center, see what we can grab early on. Nice, Niflung Defender. This one drops powerful archer gear. Just not for me, apparently. Moving on.
That is more like it. Given that purple graded is strong gear and well worth seeking out. Okay, let's go check out the scene in the middle of the map. Oh, there is actually someone else here this time. I am Shooketh. Oh, he is using infantry, so he is countering us, but there is still a big difference in power, it seems. That is manageable. Let's grab these heals, as it seems like we might actually have a fight on our hands this time. It'll take a shot at this dire wolf, as either the gold bow or boots would be welcome. Yay, nice. That is a good boost to our archer health points. We take those for sure. Okay, where to go? Where to go? Back to the center, I guess. Relocator is nice. He'll take that in case of emergency. Oh hell no, I saw it first, Sergei. You better get on up out of here, son. And I'd better leave the scene of the crime, too, because I am below half health. I might have another fight in me, actually. I have too much health for the monsters to kill me yet. Oh, Sergei back at it again. This could be close. Oh, I got this. That is three in a row. And now I can have the monsters kill me. Oh wait, 50% damage reduction rune. And a 10% archer attack rune. Jackpot. I have 24,000 troops left, so I will need a couple of monsters to kill me, I think. Of course, the monsters start to spawning. That is annoying. Come on, kill me already. Oh man, gotta go. What the heck was that? Sheesh, that was close. The first relocator relocated me two inches to the right again for crying out loud. Does this happen to anybody else? Or am I just being jubated? At least we get the relocator straight back anyway. Okay, I really need to die so I can refresh my health and get back into the fight without giving a bunch of points away. Can I sneak in here and have the boss kill me? This is risky. Ah, mission failed. We'll get them next time. A player killed me and got the points. I was Sergei too of all people. Oh, hey Sergei, come here. Yeah, you better run away. All right, let's go reclaim some points in the middle. Nice, let's dance. Oh, what the? He relocated out. No points. These boots might have been good if I hadn't found the two new boots already. Oop, we got a live one. Oh man, he went down hard. I feel bad about that one. Oh man, I am falling behind on the scoreboard. I need to be more active. A piece of candy. Really, Sergei, again. He was gonna run, but then noticed I was missing health. Should have kept on running, son. Oh man, no points for that battle again. He relocated out. Ah, 
Archer attack rune. Nice. Let's head back to mid ready for the boss spawn. We need the points badly. Nearly 400 points behind our nemesis. I speak of the devil. Let's see how much we can wound him before ducking out. Cool. Okay, I need to die quickly again so I can get back in the fight before I lose this match on points. This guy should do nicely. Okay, I have like 1 minute 30 seconds to get 350 points just to match first place. We got this. Okay, you'll hit the lower health first, get the points from him. Head on to the remaining guy. More points. Nice. Now I think Sergei's spawn is down here somewhere. Hey, hi. Sir. Sir. Do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Sir. Ah, he must be in a rush. But if I relocate? Ah, sweet. He has to be down here right. There he is. Come on. Yes, let's go. We are tied first place, but there is nothing to kill. Not like this. Oh man, that was a comeback. We tied for first, so it is technically a first place win. All right, for the last match, we are going to swap to infantry. We are going to use our old friend Ragnar as the main commander. And we will use Hobart as our secondary. Hobart is not quite fully ascended, and so is missing a little bit of health points. And the last talent that reduces incoming basic attack damage. But we shall see how we do. For Ragnar, we will be using Battle Hymn, a solid all-around skill. And Odin's Asylum, another solid all-around skill. Both boost skill damage, and our starting equipment. Solid 5 out of 10. For Hobart, we will use Thor's Determination, a must have for basic attackers. One of my favorite skills. And lastly, we will use Loki's Trick, which adds good bleed damage and debuffs enemies. This infantry set is a work in progress too. Okay, back to it. This is the match I am most worried about. Partly because Hobart is not fully ascended, and partly because most people use pikemen. We could be getting countered the whole fight, and if we bump into a strong pikemen march we are going to suffer, that's for sure. But once more into the abyss we go. A relocator straight out the gates is nice. We will need that I think. Confound it all, we were too slow. Oh boy, that's a Laird Pikeman march. Let's see how we do being countered. Oh okay, we actually demolished him. Perhaps he is still developing his march, lucky for us. Nothing of real use for us here. Oh god, is that another Pikeman march? Another Laird and Yvette set up. I knew this was going to happen. I mean, we did okay considering we were already damaged going into the fight. But this match is going to be tough, as at least half the other players here are running pikemen. We could really use some gear upgrades to give us an edge in these tough battles. We need the IGG gods to provide here. Maybe we start with turtles to get some ruins first since I cannot see any infantry monsters around yet. Pikemen attack. We will take it as a buffer. Small troop attack increase. 
Better than nothing, I guess. All right, let's go check mid. Oh, nice. We might be able to snipe some points here. Nope, he relocated out. We did not get anything. Damn. Heels, we take those. Yo, it's go time. See, even this guy made it at least a few yards with his failed relocator attempt. There's no way we are going to catch him. He'll just grab the stealth buff just in case. That is the same guy. He doesn't want this smoke. We desperately need to find some decent equipment upgrades already. We are not having any luck at all so far. No good to us. Also useless to us. Oh, that's more like it. Legendary Grade 2. That's a nice health increase. Come to Papa. That is a great start. Oh, look out. Will our shiny new helmet help us win this time? He has more troops again, because we are injured. No chance. How to go. Now we need a monster to one-tap us. We are falling behind on points now. I need to get a move on. Help me, turtle. Hopefully we can make it back to mid for the boss. We really need those points right now. Here go go. If I can sneak this boss without interruption, that would be great. Nice. Not too far behind second place now. Finally a monster that can drop infantry gear. Oh, come in. Maybe this one. Oh hell yeah, that is what we are looking for ladies and gentlemen. A nice big stat increase. Let's swap these blue boots out. I'm gonna show this turtle my new shoes and then head to the center. Where are those pikemen squads at? I'm feeling brave with my new Gucci boots. So many relocators. Oh, there he is. This time I have a decent number of troops, and I have my Crocs on. Come at me, bro. Oh man, it's close. Let's go. I think we just about got this fight in the back. Vengeance at last. The infantry strikes back. I absolutely would not have won that battle without the new boots. And then taking his pikemen attack room as compensation too. But I need to be really careful I don't concede any points here. We need a monster to refresh us quickly. So close. This one will do it. I might miss middle bass though. Yeah, it is already dead. Oh, hello there. No. Don't run. I need the points. Don't be selfish. Good man. Oh, he is with infantry too. Yeah, I feel your pain, mate. Okay, I think it is safe to say we won't be getting first in this one. 
that if we can hold second place, I will be happy, all things considered. One last win against the pikemen, maybe. Oh, easy battle. Not so tough after I stole your 10% attack rune hub. And now I'm going to confiscate his 5% rune too. Oh, of course, another legendary infantry piece drops when we have like 10 seconds on the clock. Typical. Oh God, here he comes again. I was only joking. Please don't kill me. Huh, psych, I'm outie. Second place, not too bad for infantry, I guess. Well, that just about does it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed the rumble in the jungle. Let me know down in the comments section if there are any specific topics you'd like me to cover in future content releases. Until next time, my friends, take care and farewell.